students welcome to the video lecture series on switch gear and protection for b electrical we are interested for the subject switch gear and protection and in this subject we will study about the fundamentals of switch gear and why we have to use that switch gear in our power system for protection purpose so unit number 1 deals with the fundamentals of the protective relay under this we have to study the need for protective system the nature and causes of the fault the types of fault their effects so this is the first video lecture will be based on the fault that is electrical fault so we will start with the content so the electrical fault is an abnormal condition caused by equipment failures such as transformers and rotating machines human errors and environmental conditions so this can be also called as fault in some books they have mentioned that the current flows in unintended manner is also called as fault so these are the faults cause interruption to the electric flows equipment damage and even cause death of humans birds and animals so these are the effects of fault now to prevent from fault we have to use the protective scheme so the unit number 1 deals with the fundamentals of the protective relay after this there is next point is the types of fault so mainly in the power system symmetrical faults are observed the example is triple line to ground fault and triple line fault is also called as a symmetrical faults the percentage of symmetrical fault is very less you can say till 5 to 10% faults are observed under the category of symmetrical fault unsymmetrical faults are called as the faults which observe like line to ground fault line to line fault and double line to ground fault are called as a unsymmetrical fault majority of the fault in the power system are under the category of unsymmetrical fault let's say 85 to 90% faults under the category of unsymmetrical fault and under this line to ground fault plays an important role about 80 to 85% are line to ground fault are observed in the power system now after these types of fault there are the causes of fault due to the weather condition let's say earthquake tsunami tornado or you can say the wind there can be the damage to the transmission tower and this will lead to the electrical fault the second cause is due to the human error that is nothing but the over selection size of the protective relay also leads to the fault the next point is the effects of fault now after fault in the power system it will results into the over current is going to flow and this over current will damage your electrical equipment basically it will damage to the winding and after this your equipment will get damaged and it will be the dangerous condition for that equipment or sometime that equipment can take the fire the second effect is danger to operating personnel the person who is operating on that particular power system or the particular protection purpose you can say on that switch yard there is a operating personnel may get injured due to this electrical fault third is the loss of equipment it is same like when there there is a over current due to the fault it will lead to the loss of equipment or damage to the equipment and a main important point with the help of or the effect of fault is voltage profile will get disturbed we know that the voltage 
profile follows a sinusoidal waveform. If there is a fault, this voltage profile will disturb, and due to the voltage profile disturption, there is a loss of synchronism, and our stability will get lost. So, this is all about the electrical fault, its types, causes, and effects. I hope you understand what is electrical fault. Thank you. God bless you all.